Hello, I'm Tom Interior. Welcome to the Friday edition of tonight. This is a continuation of a Wednesday interview we did with Stuart J. Raj. Uh, we were talking about languages on Wednesday. Uh, getting people to learn a new language, how long does it take? It depends on their motivation. Um, how, how long can it take? Anywhere from... Forever. <laughs> yeah, it can, it can take forever. It's <laughs> and it depends how, how proficient you want to get in that language. Uh, I think for somebody that's really wanting to get into it and willing to make their whole life become that language, anywhere from four to eight weeks, they'll be able to hold a reasonable conversation in a new language. I talk to people about living in a country where you're learning the language. Right. How helpful is that immersion? To Say if you're learning Chinese, to live in China while you're learning it so you can hear it all the time. That's what, one of the keys that I talk about is uh, building an environment that teaches you the language. So if you're living in the country, that's going to be the easiest way to build an environment around you that teaches you the language. But in saying that, and you probably know from living in all the places that you've lived before, you get these communities of foreigners in every country that live in a bubble. So if, you're, if you've gone to China or you're going to whatever country to learn a language, but you live within that expatriate bubble, and don't get out of it, well, you're not going to learn the language. We call them POACs, prisoners of air conditioning. Right. You get out of your air-conditioned house, get in your air-conditioned car, go to your air-conditioned office, then back to your air-conditioned house. Right. And in Thai, say you're learning Thai, and even your friends, you'd probably tend to mix with, say, if you had Thai friends, ones that speak English, if, you know, because it, it's comfortable. And so in Thai, you call them inter. You know, you have your con Thai Thai, or con Thai bab inter. So to start to build a circle of friends, say in Thailand, in the Thai Thai side is what's going to start to teach you the language. In saying that, if you weren't living in Thailand, you could probably do something very similar between the internet and the different communities within the country. I learned to understand by hiring a driver who didn't speak English. Ah. So if I wanted to get anywhere, I had to understand what he was saying. <laughs> Sink or swim. <laughs> Sink or swim, most definitely. That's it. Uh, what about those companies who come to you for assistance mm -hmm. in training their employees to better understand a language, better able to communicate with other employees that work for them? Right. The, I, I do go to a lot of networking events over the years through both the American Chamber of Commerce, Australian Chamber of Commerce, young professionals, European young professionals, um, Bangkok young professionals, you name it. And over the years, the word has got out and uh, I've done some good things with some, some great companies and a lot of what I do is word of mouth. The language only pays a small role of it. I think the main thing is uh, you, you can speak a language you know, perfectly according to the linguistics of that language. The first thing I'll tell people when they learn Thai is, if you think you speak Thai now, shut up. <laughs> because most Thais think that Falang talk about rubbish. So it's not only knowing to speak the language, but knowing what to speak about. I've been in conversations where somebody's come in and they think they know how to speak, and they'll come in and say something, and it's just like verbal diarrhea blurting out <laughs> over everyone, and the conversation just come, grinds to a halt. So um, it's teaching. You don't have to learn to speak the language to be able to communicate in the way that Thais or Chinese or Indian, Indonesians like to communicate. But to get to that level, the, the ultimate level, the language is definitely a must. It's like getting in a cab and, and having the driver laugh at you rather than take you to the destination. Right. You know, what, what good is that? Um, it's like in Hong Kong. If you, if you go in there and you speak in English, everyone speaks English in Hong Kong if you're going to be doing business, but you, you might hit it on this level. If you speak in Mandarin, yeah, okay, the Kwai Lao is, is speaking Mandarin, so you, you might hit there. But if you come in and speak Cantonese, and in Hong Kong Cantonese, you're in and you get things done that would never have got done on these other two levels. And so I try and either be an access point or help other people access these levels that you probably couldn't have gotten to otherwise. It's knowing that, which is really the secret of success. Right. Uh, being able to speak the language, if, if you're walking into a group and speaking Mandarin where you should be speaking Cantonese, right. that's a problem. It, it is a definitely a problem. I work with a lot of Indian companies uh, coming from India. They're, in Thailand, the Indian community here is very interesting. You've got the long established ones, medium established ones, and the ones just coming in. The people who've been established here for a while know how to use the system. In Thailand, there's you know interesting system 
in this world. Uh, but for Indians coming in here, uh, a lot of them are calling on my services and I'm flying over to India as well to before they even step foot here because they realize the value. They, because so a lot of people, if they arrive here at ties, might be politically correct about saying certain things. But in the end, if you've got millions of dollars on the line, you want to know what is what. And so now a lo uh, I found, find myself working with a lot of Indian companies um, willing to put the money out because they think in the long term it's going to save them a lot of money. It's all about profit and return and being able to speak the language and understand when to use certain phrases is the key sometimes to success or failure. So we'll be back on tonight to talk about the successful part in just a moment.